Hi, my name is Staff Sergeant Anthony Lynch. I am the Team Chief of the Electrical Mechanical Team Section. The secondary door of the B-plug is a seven ton main door to the launch facility. If it is not operating properly, we need to repair and replace parts in the door. And if we cannot do that on site or at the LF, we need to replace it or take it out of sight to bring it back to base to be repaired. I'm Staff Sergeant Streets from the 791st Maintenance Squadron, the section's MAPS, and I'm a team chief. So this week we pulled this B-plug, it's a secondary door out of one of the sites. We removed it and we've been working on it with a lot of government contractors and civilians. We've been working this week to disassemble the entire component system and inspect it, do a lot of cleaning on it, and find out what was wrong with it. We are able to repair it and we're going to be sending it back out. I'm Staff Sergeant Christopher Blessing. Our shop is missile handling and we deal with the Minuteman 3 booster system. This vehicle is the transporter erector. Transports Minuteman 3. Um, its job basically is anywhere from pulling a missile, so this will go from how it lays down now to vertical. And once it's vertical, it can either in place or pull a missile, depending on what you need it to do. Basically, we'll have someone outside, they'll check the ladder, the hoist. We'll have someone inside of this container here, and basically they're going to run through, make sure the carriage is valve started, check um, dates and stuff on the carriages, when they've been proof loaded, stuff like that. And then they'll also have vertical measurements that they have to make sure that away when the missile does get put on here, it'll actually seat properly. We'll have the guys look at tires, the frame, and check out the tractor, make sure all coolant, oil, APU's oil, and then do a hydraulic test, make sure that it actually has proper pressure and stuff like that. By them being very thorough with their inspections and stuff like that, it'll prevent anything from us breaking down the road or equipment being broken on site that could have been caught and costing us even more time. My favorite part about this job, and the reason I probably like it, is it's actually a lot of fun. I mean, 16 hours really feels like nothing. You're always constantly busy. There's always something to do. And then you actually feel like by pulling a booster or putting a booster in the hole, you feel like you've actually done something. So I'm Staff Sergeant Dylan Matthew Taylor. I'm a site supervisor for the 341st Missile Maintenance Squadron. We pretty much transport and inspect and roll transfer the Minuteman 3 downstages. At the missile silos, we pretty much put in the lower portion, so pretty much the solid fuel boosters that launch into the asset into the space. We inspect, we roll the missiles, we transport them. We deal with other bases all the time, other shops like MMT, we deal with Hill Air Force Base, Vandenberg, they're doing test launches of our missiles themselves, they pick one out. My primary mission for our team is the terror strike. That's how we run in maintenance. We make sure everything is done. Our system is accurate and it's reliable when we're in times of need for that asset to work. Item 128, launch or close your door, open. Our job is unique because the maintainers that maintain our asset don't really get to see the ending result often. With the Vandenberg test launch, that's the best we can see whether our product works or not. My favorite part of my job, honestly, would be working with the team the guys I meet, the culture where they grew up, just learning their personalities, and just the camaraderie and working as a team, that's the biggest thing that I love about the Air Force. Currently, my job is to ensure that the teams that are going out to repair uh, any sites have the tools that they need and that they are maintained properly and that they have the supplies that they need. So we're here to make sure that the teams get out as fast as possible. So we prepare loads, is what we call them, which is just sets of tools and equipment for them to get out to the, the launch facilities or the uh, launch control centers. Without the tool room, the teams would either have to check out their own tools from them, for themselves, which could slow down the efficiency of the process and delay their ability to get out to the sites. Hi, I'm A1C Payson Schmidt. I am a missile maintainer and I am stationed at Malmstrom Air Force Base. I always have had an interest in missiles and ICBMs. Um, uh, it has great outside, outside of the Air Force, it has great applications, and I just love the job. Um, on your ASVAB score, you are needed a 50 in mechanical and a 55 in engineering, I believe. And 
it is important to not have a fear of heights and critical thinking. Um, it takes place in Vandenberg. It's very, very concentrated on the job. Um, at first, for the first little bit, you won't be able to leave base, which is good because you're in a break-in period, so you're kind of getting to know everything around your surroundings. After a while, you can start to explore more of California. Um, the job itself, it will teach you basics about the job, everything you need to know, really, and it'll help you excel for when you get to your first base. Our work schedule is very consistent. It's very, stays the same. Um, you will go out one day and then you'll have the next day off, which makes it very easy here at Malmstrom. It's very easy to get things done that you need to, like medical, um, if you have any classes you need to catch up on. It's a very, it's a very nice work schedule and it's, it's very forgiving. Our job entails everything from going out to the field to fix things off base, um, staying on base, answering phone calls, uh, troubleshooting via phone call, um, back shop work. So if there's stuff that needs to be fixed in house, we can we have the equipment in house to work on that. Um, it's a very wide variety job, and it's nice. The job is very mentally and physically straining, but it's very rewarding in the end, and yeah. The, my favorite part of missile maintenance would be the, the family you get. You, it's a very tight community, and it's very easy to get help and have people help you around with tasks. I would say the best qualities to have are critical thinking and a very optimistic attitude because if you come into it negative, that's all you're going to get out of the job. I do. I came in with the intent of staying 20 years and I still plan on sticking to that.